This is an ABC 10 News update. I'm Mary McKenzie with this ABC 10 News update. Halloween looked quite different for nearly everyone this year, including for students in the college area. Even though they were on the radar of health officials and neighbors, many people were actually surprised about how quiet the area was. This after eight cease and desist letters were planted around the college area Friday, stating large house parties were expected Halloween weekend. And San Diego police were in fact heavily patrolling the area last night. Thankfully, though, no major issues were reported. Starting today, the trolley station at SDCCU Stadium in Mission Valley is shutting down for nearly two years. The closure will allow for construction on a new stadium as part of the SDSU West project. MTS says the station will reopen when the new Aztec Stadium is completed. Happening today, the annual Coleman San Diego Race for the Cure. It's going virtual this year. The race raises money to fund breast cancer research and the search for a cure. This year, San Diegans are encouraged to complete their one mile or 5K in small groups or in places like their neighborhood or their local park. Participants can download the app and track their steps and earn badges. The event kicked off with a virtual ceremony on the Coleman San Diego social media pages. Let's get a check of the forecast as we kick off November. Melissa. Yeah, I, I uh, suggest that you guys do those virtual races early rather than this afternoon because you could see the forecast highs in the afternoon. It's going to be pretty warm here, especially inland, upper 80s to low 90s. Your seven day forecast will see temperatures drop a bit Monday into Tuesday before they warm back up Wednesday and Thursday. Our inland valleys starting off in the 90s, dropping to the mid 80s by Tuesday, then right back up to the 90s by Thursday. And for the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com. You can also download the free 10 News app in your phone's app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Mary McKenzie.